What's up my mini babies? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I am Mini Week. And today, we're getting to a little chit chat, get ready with me, okay? <laughs> guys i hope y'all having a wonderful day so far or had a wonderful day because by the time this video upload it's probably gonna be nighttime or something or close to nighttime but today y'all i'm doing a chit chat get ready with me i asked you guys on my instagram if you follow me on the gram you will know i asked on instagram i asked you guys to give me some topics of what y'all would like for me to cover as well as i'm going to talk about some things that i would like to cover but the thing that i want to cover y'all actually asked me inside of the um inside of the um uh, question little thing so i'm excited to do it so i'm probably not like i'm be going over the topic that i want to go over also as well because y'all asked me in the questions anyway but y'all y'all see y'all got me a new little style y'all know got me a so y'all saw already i got me so got me a sewing looking all cute and i went and got my hair i went and let her style it today and it looks so freaking cute like so freaking cute and i gotta do my makeup because your girl about to take some pictures today that's why i'm sitting here doing this get ready with me but i'm about to go ahead i'm sitting here figure out like how do i want to clip this because i don't want to i don't want to mess it up but i think if i clip it like right here in the little dip it will mess up so i'm gonna clip it just so i can um so i can be able to do my um makeup well i'm gonna have to clip it regardless but yeah i'm gonna clip it to the back like that and i got that one clipped over here which i probably need to clip in in, a, in the oh no okay mess something now. probably need to clip it in the little braid as well so let me clip that on up so got my hair all clipped up sorry if y'all see me look to the side i'm just making sure i'm looking good making sure everything make sure everything looking good making sure everything is focused on me baby okay because what i'm the topic of the discussion I'm just talking. I'm just talking, y'all. I'm, I'm really full of myself. But we could go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm about to do is put this primer on my face because that's what I need to do first anyway. So I'm going to put this primer on. I start off with a little bit of the green primer. Don't do too much of that. I just do this to tone my skin out before I use my other primer. I just tone my skin out with this one. Tone, tone, tone. Okay. Tone my skin out. Then I go in with my milk primer, y'all. Put this all over my face see i bought the little one because i was just testing it out but i actually really like this primer i love this primer so so much so when i go back well when i run out of that i'm gonna go back to the store and actually buy the big one because i really like that um small primer and i'm probably buying me a little one as well because i'm going on a little vacay really soon so I'm not gonna tell y'all too much about that yet but go get this primer into this skin hopefully i don't get hot in here while doing my makeup because my room be hot sometimes but I don't think I'll get hot. And let me rub this all the way in on my forehead. I'm not going to do too much to my brows today either because I don't think I'm going to do like a real big glittery beat because like my bangs come over my face. So I won't re really need a big, you know, beat beat. Okay, I wouldn't need a real beat beat. I just need like a natural little beat for today. So probably just some contour, you know, type of thing. I'm going to do a little bit of highlight though. Got to do it gotta do a little bit of highlight not gonna do much to the brows today so but first we're gonna go ahead and get into these topics though and the first one that uh we're gonna talk about is one of you guys asked me how have my life been hold on one second before i even answer that question let me get my blenders out because i need three blenders out and i need my eyebrow Someone asked me how my life been. Y'all, my life been pretty good lately. Like, I've been doing pretty well. Pretty well with everything, really, y'all. Like, I've been having a really good time. Doing really good. You know, just, I really feel like I'm getting, like, to myself. And I'm really tapping into the stuff that I really want to do. Which is, like, beauty and fashion stuff. Like, that's me, y'all. I really, like, got into that stuff. And, like, I'm just so in love with it. Like, I'm happy with life right now. I feel like life has been going well. A lot of things that me and Ted gonna actually share with you guys on our other channel but just for me personally i've been very good been happy really happy i've just been really happy that i'm actually like getting into the stuff that i really want to get into if y'all feel me on that y'all know how y'all been trying so hard to get into the stuff that you really want to do and 
you don't receive results from it when you first start don't let that determine how it's going to be y'all need to like stay focused and actually keep going with what y'all want to do so in this point in life right now i'm really happy like with the results i have been receiving lately i'm really happy with my growth and i'm just really happy with life so if that really answered the question with that and y'all i'm right here i'm putting my foundation on as y'all see i just pat it on for right now and I bring it down to my neck. I don't know what that big piece is on my face, but we ain't go too much worry about that. I think it's a piece of towel. I need to clean my brushes. Let's get into something. Okay, this is a good question right here. You guys asked me, how is it How is it being an influencer? Y'all, it is hard. Like, it may look easy. It may look easy on the internet, but I'm telling you, it's really hard. Like, being an influencer, you gotta be really built for it. And you gotta have patience. And you gotta make sure, like, you staying true to yourself. And what I mean by that is, like, making sure that you really wanna do something. Like, you really doing something that you want to do, not what you see other people doing. Like, I know it's some stuff like that y'all see other people doing that y'all um like doing. I mean, that y'all would like to do as well. Y'all put it in y'all own twist. Don't do it the exact same way as, as the other person, if y'all get what I mean by that. I know, because, like, everybody is inspired by something. Like, I'm even inspired, inspired by other people. You get what I'm saying? And it's other, it's other stuff that I see people doing that I be wanting to do as well. But you got to put your own twist to it. Like, do it the way that you would want to do it, not the way that somebody else does it but being an influencer is really hard you gotta know how to ignore people you gotta know how to stand true to yourself doing what you love to do and not doing what other people would want you to do um and just figure it like figure yourself out like really you gotta have self self management self control really because you gotta make sure you put yourself in a time in a timely frame like what i mean by that is like make sure you scheduling yourself out for yourself because like y'all it's a lot because you gotta edit upload or if you have an editor you gotta see your videos off have it uploaded have the videos recorded making sure you're looking good and it's just a whole lot. It's just a whole lot. And like I said, y'all, it may look easy on the internet, but it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Like, it's be a, and I see it always be like a lot of people be saying like, oh, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be an influencer. I want to do this. And then they'll start and they'll realize they're not built for it because it comes with so much. Like, it's so much work that you have to do. It's so much that you have to sit there and you got to really be like disciplined, have self-discipline when, when being an influencer. Ooh, I already poked myself in the eye, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. All right, y'all, I'm back. I didn't poke myself in the eye, but I'm going to be more careful this time. I actually know it's really hard talking and actually trying to concentrate on your topic. But back to what I'm saying. It, like I said, you got to have self-discipline. You got to know what you're doing. Not necessarily know at everything because you're not going to know everything at once as being an influencer. It's going to be new stuff you learn over time every day. You learn new stuff every day with yourself. But you just got to make sure like everything is being done that way that you want it to be done. You just got to have self-discipline, self-control. Make sure you have everything right the way that how you want it to have want it to be like i said maybe it may look easy on the internet but it ain't these people who make it seem easy it ain't and these people who tell you that it may be easy it ain't because it's not built for everybody you have some people who be like oh i want to be a youtuber or i want to be an influencer and they tap into it and then they tap out they tap out because they realize they can't handle it that is really a lot you know like i always say everybody can't be an influencer Everybody can't. But if you really want to be one and you really have a passion for it, it will work out for you. And you will realize that. Like for some people, it don't just work out because it's just not for them. I hate to say it. It just don't it just don't be for them. But you have some people, like me for example, it it just turned out it was the route. And the thing is with me, I would have never thought that I would I would be an influencer. Like that is nothing I ever pictured. I ain't gonna say picture myself doing because like when I was in high school, that's when I really got to the like really got to be like, oh, I ready I'm ready to do YouTube and stuff. I really didn't know that it, I was gonna like take off with it, y'all. Cause like y'all, I was like going to school, going to college. Actually, that's in my next question. I'm not even go talk too much on that subject. We just gonna move on to the next question that pertains to that, and I could go ahead and tell tell y'all about that and my bad my sound all, all over the place y'all i'm just trying to do my makeup and you know get y'all these answers out i don't want to sound like i don't know what i'm talking about but y'all y'all get y'all get what i'm coming from did i ever go to college and if i if i did tell the story if there is one 
So, I did go to college, y'all, but I left. I stopped going to college, and I stopped going to college to pursue my uh YouTube career. And me, I remember it was me and Ted, and at first, I wasn't planning on leaving because, like, y'all, like I said, I didn't expect for me to, like, become a big-time YouTuber or become big in this YouTube industry because my mind was just so focused on college. And y'all was going to school for mechanical engineering. That's exactly what I was going to school for. Um, It wasn't exactly what I wanted to major in, but it was close to what I wanted to major in because I originally wanted to major in computer engineering, but I ended up going for mechanical engineering because they didn't have computer engineering there. So I went just what was close to it. But, yes, I did go to college, and I left. It was a big decision for me because I always wanted to graduate and have a college degree. I wanted to be the first one out of my mom household to graduate college and have a degree. But during the time, I had to pick and choose like my passion or like what I really wanted to do. And it was both at that time. But, you know, I took the opportunity as... Okay, it's like once in a lifetime, um, it's either I go and I branch out and then I come back to school or I stay at school and I never really experience full, the full YouTube industry and never really take it serious. Like, I, I'll tell you all the way to this day, if I would have stayed in college, I would have never took YouTube as serious as I take it now. Like, I wouldn't be posting every every day or as often as I'm doing now. I wouldn't be focusing more on my craft because I would have so much on my plate with school, work, and doing YouTube. And that's exactly what we was doing. I was doing school, I was working, and coming back home doing videos with Ted on YouTube. So it was a lot, y'all, and it wasn't it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all because I was like on a pushing schedule and the school that I went that I went to was called UAB, the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And y'all, that school will have you working, have you tired. You gonna be working all day, slaving. Now I ain't gonna say slaving, but they don't play about their work. Like you'll be working all day. And I, I was going from work to class to um I had to do work study hours because the way I got into school not even gonna lie, my ACT score wasn't as high enough to get into that school because that's a that's a pretty high school. Like you gotta have a good S a ACT score to get into that school, and mine wasn't high enough. Like I was close, but mine wasn't high enough, so I had to work a little bit harder to get inside the school. Which I found this program. Um, I remember it was called Blazer Start. I found the program, and I was able to get in the school that I really wanted to go to through that program. And y'all, that was the only school I applied for because I just wanted to go to that school like that. That's the only school I applied And I was able to get in, which I'm still grateful for to this day that I was able to even get in that program and, like, get into the school because that's the school that I really wanted to go to. And when I went there, y'all, I was making good grades and everything. Like, I was not playing because I worked my butt off getting into there. So, yeah, y'all, like, it was hard, like, juggling all that at once. But I'm really happy that I chose to take my YouTube career serious. And now, like, if I want to go back to school, I can go whenever I want to. And guess what? I have the money to pay for because during that time I did not have money to pay for my college tuition y'all I did not I was working a job because I was working all them hours at work because I was using that money to pay my college tuition and I always say to this day if I would never left I wouldn't be where I'm at today and I'll probably be somewhere in dip okay and a lot of dip so I was happy I was shit I'm grateful that I was able to get out early my bad for cussing but I'm just grateful that I was able to get out early before I ran it up to where I wouldn't go be ever able to afford to pay it off but i don't know i don't even know where my life would be be at if i didn't like take youtube as serious or take the opportunity that we got so i don't know i don't know where i'll be at right now but at the same time i do because me i'm a very determined person like i would have stayed my butt in school and i would have been working whatever jobs i want to go be working to pay that tuition i would have got that tuition paid <laughs> one way or another hold on y'all gotta focus on these eyebrows because i miss them up so i need to focus the next question you guys ask is how do you know Knowing your worth as a female. That's a good one. My answer is going to be probably pretty different from everybody. Because everybody go through different stuff. Knowing your worth as a female female y'all that's a good one let me let my brain progress that question real quick let my brain progress that question so i'll figure out how to answer that in the correct way for you i feel like every girl should know their worth like you know what you're worth you know you're not worth a piece of trash you don't let nobody treat you any kind of way or nothing you gotta have like i'm sorry but you gotta have your foot down you gotta be standing on all 10 toes as a female that's what i feel like because like people people like guys and everything they would really try to play you and treat you worthless and then you even have family members who'll sit there and treat you like you just like 
like, like you just don't mean anything. And what I mean by that, it's a lot of people that I could say that probably didn't even think at all that I would, that I would be in the position that I am today. And y'all just really gotta know y'all worth and gotta really believe in y'all selves. Don't let nobody just predict your life and your future for you. Uh-uh. You know your life and your future. I didn't have people to downplay me being like, oh, I would never, I would never get this far, or I would never be this, I would never be that. Family members and all, family member, friends, everything. And you just gotta prove them wrong. Like, as long as you staying true to yourself and knowing yourself and know what you are, that's all it takes, for real. That's all it takes. God gonna present, once you tackle that, God just gonna present everything that you ever wanted to you. Like, everything, blessings just gonna come back to back to back. You have to know your worth for anything with guys, with family, just with yourself too. Like you know what you worth. Let's say for instance, for example, like even with um with brand companies, I could say that brand companies, like some of them would like try to downplay you when it comes to prices and stuff. And when I say that, it's like they'll be, they'll be trying to downplay you, compare you to other people. When it's like, no, I don't care what that other person's done. I know my worth. I know what time I do to put into this. I know what time, I know what type of stuff that I do within my videos to make this product look good and fit inside the content that I present out. And you don't know how much that it takes or how much time or how much I didn't spin out to just do that. So I don't know. Y'all just y'all just gotta know y'all work for real. Like I feel like that's kind of like something that you have to figure out for yourself too. Because I, I could tell you all the good advice every like all day, every day, but it's really gonna you really not gonna learn it deep into yourself until you experience it yourself. Like go through situations that like make you be like, okay, uh uh, I'm not worth this or I, I deserve better. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people have to go and experience things to actually know their to actually know their worth or you know your worth already but you learn new stuff about yourself every day like I'm getting older so a lot of stuff is changing about me I'm getting older I'm like I'm 21 years old yeah I'm a young adult but still like I'm learning different things about myself and I feel like I'm very mature for my age and like some stuff I just don't tolerate because like no don't do that with guys with everything on to the Casilla oh I wouldn't even name products but this is the NARS Casilla and Walnut I'm using this right now hold on y'all crew Renee calling me let me answer the phone for her I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me miss ma'am and you interrupting my video y'all tell crew Renee to get off my line and I Always calling me. She always be want to be on phone, y'all. What? Over here, getting them together. They made me mad. Y'all, my friend about to go home, and I'm sad because she about to leave for a couple days, and I'm not even gonna see her when she get back, cause I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be home, kid free. Yeah. Y'all watch out for crew Renee, man. I'm telling y'all, she popping out with something. I ain't gonna tell y'all, but she popping out. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for crew Renee. Don't miss out on her. What you said, Quitter? Y'all have me. Thank you, friend. Yeah, cute, Thank you, friend. She always hyping me up. That's why I be feeling myself too much. It looks so cute. You that always hyping me up. Getting them together. <laughs> I can't wait to send them hot. All right, y'all. So, I don't know where I left off at. And I know my camera angle probably be a little different now. But we going to move on to another topic. Because I didn't forget where I left off at. For real, I forgot where I left off it. Um, so I asked, what business do I have or what or want to have? Now, y'all, I'm not even going to lie. I really do want a, um, a hair business. And I say that all the time because, like, y'all, I'm so, I feel like I'm really good with wigs. Like, I feel like I'm getting better, but I'm also, like, good already as well. Like, over the past few years, I started doing my hair back in high school. And the first wig I did was on my birthday. And from during that time all the way until now, y'all, I have gotten so good when it comes to, like, wigs, y'all. And some of y'all have seen already. Some of y'all have already seen my work and what I do. And I feel like I have gotten so good, and I'm really proud of myself. If y'all don't know already, I be selling the wigs, used wigs that I already have. I be selling them on my Depop to um people who, like, prefer, like, used wigs, like, wigs already plucked and styled in a way. And all they gotta do is just do their baby hairs and stuff. Like, I do that type of stuff and I um post them on my depot if y'all were interested in that is down in my description but that is a company that I really would wish to have like a 
my hair business, which I probably would have in the future. Like, I would like to sell wigs. Not, I wouldn't say I would do hair. I don't know. I, I wouldn't do hair, but I would most definitely, like, sell hair. And sell good hair at, you know, good quality prices for people. Because, like, everybody can't afford just to be paying all that money for wigs and stuff. And that's just something I would um, want to do. Like, I'm not going to speak too much on it, but it's just something that I would like to do. When you was little, how did you get out your shy stage? Uh, I got out my shy stage when it was time for me to leave for college when it came for, like, meeting new people. Because, you know, in high school, middle school, all that... You know all those people, but when you actually leaving to go to like a new town, somewhere where you don't know nobody yet, that's what really tests you. Like, you don't know nobody, so you automatically like shy or don't want to talk to nobody or nothing. But you could really miss out on a lot of opportunities by not talking. I feel like you have to talk to like people, be open to meet new people, because guess what? The person or the something that you really want to do in life, God probably see you that person to you and you'll probably be so shy to talk to them or scared to talk to them or introduce yourself to these people or that person trying to inter introduce themselves to you and you scared to talk when the whole time that person got something that you need basically like that you want to do or in the field that you want to do and I feel like people miss out on a lot of opportunities by not talking and they you and that one of those people used to be me like I used to miss out on a lot of opportunities because I was so scared to talk or so scared to communicate you know, tell people like what I want to do and my goals and stuff. Like you just never, you never know what resources that person may have to help you out or get you started. So I always feel like people should communicate at all times. Like don't be shy. Like always like talk, like be, it's okay to be friendly. Okay. But not too friendly, but it's okay to be friendly and like get to know like people, especially when it comes into like your career and stuff. Like the field that I have, I have to like talk. But it was a point in time when I, I never talked. I used to always want somebody to talk for me, but I had to get out that stage because can't nobody talk for me forever. You know, I got to be able to do this stuff myself. I got to be able to go out and meet people myself. What if I come a big boss one day? People going to be looking to me to talk. You get what I'm saying? So I can't be shy. Can't have nobody talking for me forever. But I don't know. I say to, get, to help you get out of it, like, just start talking to people. See what you have in common with people when you go out to places. Like, just start talking to people. And don't talk to anybody. Someone asked me to give them women house tips. Women house tips. So I know y'all talking about decorating and stuff. So y'all, when it comes to decorating, I didn't get good at it until this year. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't get into like decorating and stuff until this year. And I'm not gonna lie, my girl Quee like helped me out with that. But I always knew how to do a little bit of decorating, but I never had the opportunity to or the chance to. Especially in the apartment, I wouldn't even stun it. But like here in this house, I feel like I really was really able to like get out there and show what I can do. So when it comes to like women, like when it comes to like decorating and stuff, um, I'm not gonna lie y'all, I be finding inspos. I find inspirations like of what I would want my room to probably similar, like look like similar, uh, similar. <laughs> what I would like my room to look like similar. Or I'll find like stuff like maybe little pictures and stuff like, ooh, this cute. Like just look, some little inspiration or whatever that'll make you go out to the store and go out and look for certain stuff. Now, when I do my insp like when I get inspos and stuff, I don't necessarily copy everything that that person does. It'll probably be like a basic thing, like oh she got this chair, I like that chair, let me get that. You know what I'm saying? But not don't copy everything to the T. You just really gotta like have a mind. And like I said, the best thing when it comes to like decorate, I like doing the mock-ups now because the mock-ups make it super easy, super easy for you to find the stuff, super easy. And like I said, when it came to my beauty room, that mock-up really helped me. I have I had watched a video on this girl who had decorated her beauty room, and it gave me some inspo. And I um I was like, okay, that is cute. And then boom, I got some inspo, and I just started thinking. I was like, okay, and stuff was just coming together, and I was just putting it all together. So it's really off the top of your head. But I know some people who probably don't like know how to decorate at all and i would say most definitely find like some inspiration pictures to help you decorate for people who don't know how to decorate at all and can't afford to like let nobody decorate for you most definitely like find some inspiration pictures of how you would like your house to be and you know go go based off that not everything but go based off that for certain people you know because i i like it's two decorators in my family and I would say it's me and my sister. We both know how to decorate really, really nice. But I feel like we get that from my mother. Because our mom, she know how to decorate. She have like, my mom like a lot of antique stuff. Like, she like a lot of antique stuff, old vintage, vintage things. And that's why I feel like I get that from. I like old 
old vintage things too and i probably will add that somewhere in my house sooner or later probably not here but probably if we move or something if we don't still be in this house but i like this house i like this house very much so we're not moving nowhere no time soon but my mom yeah we get that from my mom and i feel like everybody probably have at least one decorator in their family like one person that know how to decorate really good in their family I hope y'all would. But if not, like I said, just find you some inspiration pictures or videos like when it comes to home decor. Someone has asked about me, about my daily life. How have I been physically and mentally? Um, I have been good physically. Y'all know I didn't start back working out if y'all don't know by now. But I started back working out on my workout journey. And that's just to keep me, keep my fitness up. Like keep me toned so I won't like be out of shape. Because I noticed like once I stop working out, I start being more lazy and stuff like that. And working out does like make you more energetic. Like make you more want to do stuff and stay healthy and stuff. But I feel like physically I've been good and mentally I've been getting better. <laughs> like, cause I get, I have my days where I just feel like I'm not doing enough and it just make me sad because I just feel like I'm not doing what I really want to do. And that's why I always say, make sure y'all stay true to y'all selves and do what you really passionate about because don't be around here doing other things for other people or nothing. Like do what you want to do. I used to take a lot of criti criticism from other people and I used to feel like I couldn't do it just because this person said I couldn't do it. And I had to get out of that because I had to teach, teach myself, like, I can do whatever I want to do, you know? Anything that I'm passionate about, that's what I can do. But I have been good mentally, y'all. Like I said, I've been, I've been working. Really, my mind just been focusing on working, especially... Like on the things that I like to do, like with beauty and fashion and stuff, because I feel like I'm just now tapping into that world and ready to, you know, take over with it, you know? I like inspiring others, especially other people, other girls my age or other girls my height or other girls, you know, my skin tone, like other girls, other black girls or any other race girls, like anybody who look up to me. I just love inspiring y'all or if I do inspire y'all, like I have girls that I watch on YouTube that inspire me, so I know I'm on here and I inspire someone else to be better or I inspire somebody else to keep moving. You get what I'm saying? Or to keep doing what they do. Because I have people that inspire me to get up every day and just, you know, work work hard and, you know, grind for what I want. And that's really true. It does be people, other people that you watch that help inspire you to get you to be the better person that you know you could be. Like, that serious. And that stuff is very important. It's very important, especially until you get into the level where you want to, like, do it. Because it, do it for yourself. Like, I'm doing all this for myself because I know this is really what I want to do. But like I said, it, I do have people that inspired me to keep going. And okay, what I'm on now? I got to do powder. Yeah, I got to do powder. Y'all, I'm about to mess up. I'm about to move into something else. And this right here is the Laura Mercier powder in translucent. Yeah, translucent, honey. Quee put me on this, y'all. Quee put me on to this. Y'all said, how do you figure out the right, figure out the right person for you? And is it safe for you to tell them early? I would say tell them early, like not tell them early. And the only reason why I say that, because I wouldn't want the person to like get comfortable or have them feeling like they could just, oh, I, oh, I got you in a loophole type of thing. It just all depends on how the, who, who that person is and how they is because I feel like telling them too early, you don't really get to see the full, like, hmm, how can I say this? You need to know like that person fully before you just be like okay this person is right for me i say don't tell them too early keep it to yourself and once you really really know that's when you can like tell them but how you know when the person is right for you girl you'll know i'm telling you you gonna have all them signs all the right signs like with me and tay i learned something new about him every day y'all every day but i just know he's right for me i been know he's right for me i never told him that but <laughs> i been knew he was right for me We've been together for four years now four going on five it's crazy that is crazy. Four going on five years. That is so good. <laughs> All right, this last question, y'all. Y'all ask me, how do you gain confidence for yourself? I feel like for me, I'm just tell y'all for me. For me, how I gain so much confidence is doing the stuff that I like to do. So, like, one thing that I like to do is dress up. And when I dress up, I feel like the baddest in the world like I feel like I could conquer anything when I'm dressed up and you know looking all pretty and stuff I feel like I'm just a boss like I be really feeling myself like when I get my hat done I be feeling myself doing a lot of stuff 
that make you feel good is what boosts your confidence, baby. That is what boosts your confidence. And I can tell y'all this every day. Do stuff. If it's take getting cute every day. I know you have your days where you don't want to get cute every day. But me, I be wanting to get cute. Well, I don't get cute every day. But when I get cute, I be feeling like the baddest. And I be feeling like a boss. Like right now, I feel like a boss. And can't nobody tell me I'm not no boss. Because I feel like a boss right now. Period. So let me spray this face and get to my highlight. Y'all, when it comes to that, you spray your face one time. I'm running out of this can, so I need to throw that away. I need to throw that away. But I spray my face one time before I actually do my highlight. So I'm going to come back when it comes to doing my lip combo. All right, y'all. I'm back, and I'm all dressed and ready. Got my lips done and all that. But I came here to end off this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the chit-chat. Get ready with me, y'all. Um, I hope I went over the topics, like the questions that y'all asked me. I hope that I answered y'all questions well. If I was all over the place, y'all know because I'm trying to multitask, do two things at one time. But I hope that I answered your questions well. Um, all y'all questions, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And y'all come down below if y'all think I should do more Get Ready With Me's. Comment down below if I gave you guys some good advice. Comment down below if I need to get better. <laughs> and just, you know, I'm just happy that y'all support me. And I'm just happy to be here and inspire you you guys and y'all i love y'all i'm about to get ready to go take some pictures so y'all make sure y'all follow me on the gram and go like this photo this photo will probably gonna be already up before y'all get this video so i'm just pop the photo up on the screen y'all make sure y'all go like that go run the picture up for me and i love y'all i will see y'all in the next video peace i'm out mm -hmm.